<sighs> There's that one bully from when you were a kid, that one person that abused you, that hurt you, and affected you for the rest of your life. And maybe at this point in time, maybe they are still in your life in some way, or maybe that they're not. Whatever the case is, maybe you want to confront them now. Now is your opportunity to confront them. That's what we're talking about today, confronting bullies and abusers from your past. So this can be people that you grew up with, kids, or even family members. So hope that you find this information helpful. Let me know how it helps you. Bullies control your life and make you doubt your abilities. Don't let them have that power. Stand up to them and confront them. That is what we are going to be addressing. How to confront your childhood bully when you are an adult. First and foremost, don't go out of your way to get in contact with someone who abused you in the past. The decision is entirely yours, but know that you have to make the decision if it will be helpful to you to reach back out, not expecting a response, or just learn to deal with the trauma they brought about in your life. With that being said, if the childhood bully or abuser is presently in your life, such as a friend, a friend of a friend, or even a family member, then it may be a good time to confront them. People who abuse you, especially when you're younger, is something that is very difficult for you to deal with because as we grow, as we age, we retain a lot of that negativity and how people made us feel. We will keep that within us as if it is something that is going to affect us for the rest of our lives. But the thing is, we are in control of our lives. We can change this. We are in power. So that is why it's time to confront the bullies, confront the abusers, so we can have some closure. This doesn't always happen, but if you're feeling that way, now may be the best opportunity for you to go about actually seeking some sort of communication with someone that abused you from the past. If you were abused when you were younger, then you may have repressed memories of abuse and even a hatred of the person who abused you. This is where you need to take a step back and learn to calm your emotions. Having hatred towards another and repeating the abuse that was done to you will not solve anything. Rather, learn to forgive. That may seem like a foreign idea, but the calmer you can be and learn to forgive the abuser, the more rationally you can con confront them to get your point across. Have a list of things you want to bring up and how their abuse made you feel. And also be prepared for an array of reactions from them, including continued abuse. Yes, they may completely disregard your claims and continue to blame things on you. So don't let them abuse you again and again. Be strong and be prepared for them to react in a negative manner. While they could be understanding and comfort you, maybe not even knowing that, they, that what they did hurt you, don't plan on that reaction. Plan for the worst so you are not surprised. I myself have gone through the process of confronting a, a big abuser and a big source of negativity in my life, which was my own mother. I've talked about my mother before and she's someone that is very narcissistic. She does not believe she did anything wrong. I confronted her. I even wrote a letter to her and she denied every single accusation, every single thing. She put the blame right back on me. She tried to make me feel inferior again, just like she did when I was younger. But at this point, I'm an adult. I am much more mature and I am much more calm and rational. So when I approached her with this information, I was not expecting anything at all. In fact, I was expecting the worst. And sure enough, she showed me that she is still not ready and not mature enough to actually be able to have a proper conversation about this or admit that she did anything wrong. So why am I going to be affected for the rest of my life because of someone like that? Why am I going to feel a certain way and feel like I can't accomplish anything because of her? <clears throat> I'm not. I'm absolutely not going to do that because I am a powerful person. I am a strong person for what I, I endured. And I confronted her and that was my form of closure. It didn't matter what she said. She knows now how she made, made me feel. And even if she wants to deny it all she likes, 
and the fact that she can't even acknowledge it whatsoever, that's on her now. Because I've gotten out what I need, need to. And the same thing goes for you. When you're confronting someone from your past, do not expect anything in return. Don't even expect a response back or even acknowledgement. Don't expect something positive to come of it. Don't expect that sort of stuff. And just send your message, send the letter, have a sit down conversation, whatever is comfortable for you. And whatever the outcome is, accept what that is and know that you can move on past that point. You are a strong person, you can overcome anything. So remember that. Organize your thoughts and even write a letter. Be kind and sincere in your letter. Don't use profanity or name call. Be polite and professional. Put emotions into your words. It's perfectly fine to cry during the process. In fact, that's how you are getting emotions out. Be as calm as you can. Sit them down or even write a letter getting out all of your thoughts. Mail it to them or give it to them in person. Whatever your preferred method is, do what you are comfortable with. Don't expect anything in return. If you don't hear from them, don't be surprised. Remember, you were prepared for the worst, so expect the worst and plan for what could happen. Their reaction to your letter or sit down talk could go many ways. If they are furious and blame you, calling you worthless and repeating the same abuse that was done to you as a child, then this is your chance to rise above it. Remember, trauma will repeat until you break the cycle. So let this moment be that breaking point and let it go. Stand up to the abuser and show them that you can and will succeed. They call you worthless. So do something positive with your life so you are successful. You are incredibly powerful. Another reaction they could have is a positive one and realize what they've done wrong and provide you with the closure you need to move on. Don't plan on getting closure, but if it happens, consider yourself grateful. This could be the start of a better relationship between you two. Whatever happens when you tell your abuser the truth of how your actions made you feel as a child, be prepared, take action, and be strong. You can do this and end the cycle once and for all. They no longer have control over you. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. When dealing with abusers from the past, remember that they can affect you to a great degree throughout your adulthood. But when you become an adult, guess what? You are in control. You can take charge of what is going on in your life and the things that are happening. You have to stand up. You have to be the one to take that initiative. You can't expect someone to come to you and you can't be affected by the things that happened to you in the past. Take control, confront the people that, that did you harm, don't expect anything in return, and move on with your life. You are an incredibly strong person and that shows your strength, so remember that. When you can confront what did you harm, that shows that you're an amazingly strong person. So do that, overcome it, and move on to the next part of your life because you have so much potential and so much success within you. Remember that. You are an incredibly powerful and successful person. You can accomplish whatever you want to. Doesn't matter what the abusers and bullies say, they don't, they don't want you to amount to anything. Prove them wrong, stand above them, and show that you are incredibly, incredibly powerful. You have so much strength within you and you are successful. Show that to them. Hope you found this video helpful. Hope you found this information helpful. Let me know. Have a great day.